about what? Running for Hey, turn the video off. What's going on, guys? My name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Today, we're going to be talking about Mitch McConnell freezing up again. By the way, if you want to like and subscribe, please do. If you don't, cool. And help donate if you can. All right. Here he is again. Re-election in 2026. Oh. Oh, sure. Did you hear the question, Senator? Running for re-election in 2026? Yes. All right, I'm sorry, you all. We're going to need a minute. Senator. Penny. Somebody else have a question? Please speak up. What are my thoughts about? You see how awkward that was? You see where I just froze up? You see how weird that'd be? If I was just like, hey guys, welcome to What Can I Change? You'd be like, is the, is the computer frozen? Did it, did it glitch? His is obvious because you can see him still moving. Here's my thing, Mr. Uh, guy. Listen, we all start to fall apart at a certain age. We all start to get to this place. I'm not here to make fun of this man. Um, what I am to say is that we are becoming kind of incompetent. If any other person was to get up there and do this kind of stuff, it'd be foolish. This man is obviously struggling and breaking down in front of us. I don't know if it's him or who is saying this, but let's have some respect. Now, this is too many times in the last... It happened once. We can maybe look past that, but this happened again in the same year. It's just a matter of time before it happens again and more frequently. I'm just saying it's about the time that we just go ahead and, hey, man, look, time to let go. It's time to let it go. Get off the stage. Go somewhere else. OK, go sit and go. Sit. You can do more. It's not like here's the thing about this man. It's not like, and I don't know him, I know some people say they hate him, but that's all politicians, so I'm not going to sit here and base it off of that. Uh, some politicians are loved, some politicians are hated. But what I will say about this man is, I think it's to the point where you need to just go do something else. You know, don't get, no more public speaking for you. You just focus on what you can. Because it is clear that you are breaking down. It is clear that your mental is starting to leave you. I'm sorry that that's happening, um, because it does happen to all of us eventually, our mental will eventually fall for the vast majority of us. And we'll be sitting on there on camera one day. One day I'm going to be, t if, I, if I'm lucky enough, I'll be telling a story to my grandkids and I'll fall asleep and pass out, man. That's going to happen, you know. But at that time, I would not say, hey, I know Trey has a hard time staying awake and even telling a story. But let's make him publicly speak to people about policies. No, I don't think that'd be a good idea. So I understand people are making fun of this man. I get all that. Like I said, he's not well liked from what I could see. So I can understand people uh, saying, you know, it's over. Let's get him out of here. What if Trump did this? I agree. I agree. Um, you need to go. It may need to go in now. Hang up the shoes, man. Hang up the shoes. It's the same. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. The same thing we see happen in the Biden. And I don't, I'm not here to say I like him or hate him. My, my point is, is that when we see him do the same stuff, when he says the greatest thing about America is, you know, I mean, it's like, okay, when he doesn't know where to go sometimes, listen, he's old. Okay. Do I think he's a great person? <laughs> you know, I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know, I'm trying to get this video to get some ads. So I'm just kidding. But, um, to be honest with you, I think at some point, um, when our politicians, presidents start to get a certain age, I think we might need to start having a cutoff. But like, you can't be, a, you can't be 97 and be a politician. I'm sorry. It just doesn't make sense. Um, I think politicians, if y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, but some of them have lifetime salaries. I don't know if that's just the president, but I know some of them, they get paid after they win. And after that, they get paid for the rest of their life. So, hey, man, I'm sure he's played, made plenty of money. Maybe got a little bit of money on the side, allegedly. I don't know. He's good. Okay. Let it go. Walk away. Breathe. Joe Biden. Walk away. Time to go. 
too old for this now. Let the young pups come up, you know, or at least the young or if even I know Trump is older. If Trump was to win, let's say he does win uh, next year. OK, if Trump comes in. If he starts to lose his mind, I'm going to say the same thing. I'm like Trump, OK, you were your mind was there. It's gone. Time to walk away. 70 is pretty old to me, but I think it's time to start getting to the younger men. Maybe not 35. That's kind of young to me for a president. I like good 45, 50. 45, 50. I think that, I'll think that'd be good. 45 to 50 years old, I think, would be fine with me. I think a 35 is kind of young because, dang, I'm I'm in my 30s, so it's just kind of like, it's kind of young. I wouldn't imagine me being. But somebody in their 40 to 50 who's been in the been in the ring for a while, did a little bit of boxing. I need I need Tom Brady age. You know, I need at least Tom Brady. You gotta have been in the game at least 20 years. For me to be like, okay, you got you to get some, you know, got to get some skin in the game. You got you to gotta be LeBron. You got to be your Carl Malone's. You got you to gotta 20 years. I need at least 20. I don't even know if Carl Malone played for 20 years. I think he did. All right. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this man freezing up again.